Hey folks, so let's discuss and unpack the new moon in Leo happening on July 28th. So we are up on a new moon in the sign that is happening just a few days after the Leo season has begun. So the sun and moon joining up there at five degrees of the sign. And we have the sun and moon dancing in a nice fire trine with Jupiter which is about to station retrograde. So a powerful, concentrated, slow down Jupiter in Aries and a fire trine. So a new moon with this exuberant uh, fire energy as the sun and moon dance together uh, with Jupiter there. So an Aries Leo fire trine of exuberant energy. And so as we begin this new moon cycle in Leo, Perhaps we might think about, well, this question of saying yes to life. So where in my life am I being asked to say yes, to be as a child, to play? So Leo is the idea on one level of play, play, spontaneity, joy in your being that expresses as play. So to be playful is to be joyful in your being and so that is the fire element the energy that wants to go out and experience that creative a spark that exuberance that infuses one system and inspires one to create to experience life to enjoy the business of being and living and so yes on the soul level we do have let's say serious business to attend to as we come into a life. But in the broader picture, in the broader picture of things, uh, we could say uh, big on the soul agenda is this question of playing within reality. So this question of coming into an experience and playing and discovering with spontaneity and delight and what gives the soul joy but to go in to a system of reality and to experience itself as playing and discovering elements and aspects of that reality. A few dogs there barking in the background. Perhaps they too are feeling the Leo exuberance here. But uh, yes, so this question of a moon that invites us to say yes to life, to say yes to, let's say, a deeper agenda of the soul in broader terms, which is to go into a system of reality, to experience it, to feel the enlivening creative energies that infuse the soul and propel it toward new experience. And so this is the fire element and it's also jupiter so sun moon in leo trine jupiter the idea of opening up your territory the idea of moving beyond where you've been the idea of the confidence that comes with moving into new experience the confidence of being the explorer on the adventure of life yes and so a moon a new moon that invites you to move out in whatever ways are applicable to you to move out into adventure to move out into fresh novel new experience jupiter in aries to play leo the spontaneity joy and play that would go along with moving into new experience so where in your life do you need to say ah let me be as a child let me just play you watch children, you watch them uh, play together and they are not concerned all the time with some kind of endpoint or agenda. They are just uh, living out the spontaneity that flows through their being, the spark of life. It radiates from them. They have to express that soul joy for living, of living. And so when you are very young, you are, let's say, less disconnected from that joyfulness, that soul joy, the joy that propels the soul to move out into new dimensions of experience, a fresh new lifetime to explore and to amass and gain experience in the adventure of playing in the playground of reality. And so a new moon that 
invites you to consider where you might just put down the rules to go beyond where you've been to play to be spontaneous to open up yourself to new experiences that take you beyond your old familiar horizons that's jupiter jupiter says sail out into bigger territory and leo is the confidence to do that so leo and we'll talk about leo much more in our let's say expose on leo astrological energies but uh, leo speaks to on one other level a confidence and faith in the self and so one might ask well where does that come from is that at all is that confidence at all rooted in some sense of belonging to a higher order that's jupiter some sense of ah i can have faith in myself because life propels me and props me up and that's jupiter on one level the idea of grace the idea of the guiding hand the idea of an intervening grace, a higher order of grace that brings ooh, those Jupiterian words, abundance and luck, but it's something deeper than that. It's saying, I belong to a higher intelligence that intrudes into my reality and brings grace and propels me as I am on the adventure of life. There's something that props me up. That's something that gives me a helping hand. A grace that intrudes, as we said. Where in your life can you have more faith and trust to move out into new territories of experience that are going to infuse you with more confidence, more confidence in self, because on the soul level, the soul gains confidence through the adventure of living, let's say. So the soul is edified through the adventure of living. The soul feels more confidence in itself and its abilities as it plays throughout the various dimensions of reality, the realities that are available to experience. So what new experiences are inviting you to play? where you can simply be as a child and put down the rules for once and allow yourself to open up to the adventure of living without having an agenda, a plan, let's say, for how the adventure needs to go. Adventure implies not knowing the outcome. And so this new moon is a big boost, a big boost of exuberant, creative, forward-reaching energy that says, ah, go out into the playground with confidence. The thing that you've been holding back from doing, go ahead, be confident, be inspired to do it, and let your inspiration come from your trust and anchoring and grounding in or within a higher intelligence that wants to propel you forward. And so even as the world is the way it is right now and there is, let's say, a circumscribing, a limiting of a perception, we could say, as the world and the events of the world tend to point us in certain, let's say, perceptual directions. You know, focus on this. Worry about that. Don't forget that you are a soul in reality, that you are uh, playing within a vast playground of experience and so where possible do not let yourself be limited unnecessarily by other people's prescriptions of what your reality can be about have the confidence and faith to explore something else to feel good to know your own joy even in the midst of let's say chaos to find your own unique pathway throughout reality that provide you with grace and a sense of joy, a sense of, ah, I'm here in something. I mean something. My life means something. I'm playing in this playground. And yes, the playground looks ooh, a bit chaotic and a bit hot right now, but there is something that props me up. There is a wind beneath my wings. And that is the fuel, the wind that comes from a creative intelligence that propels you toward more experience and so you need not be circumscribed let your life be limited by the narrow experiences of others or if 
let's say your culture society global events say ah here's what you can experience this little bubble right here this little tiny little square of experience that's what you must focus on worry and be anxious there are other options for how you can experience reality it can be joyful it can be uplifting it can be expansive you can move through with wonder so where in your life can you find more of that energy and so a few things to think about here at this new moon this exuberant fiery new moon in leo confidence faith trust as it dances with jupiter play soul play saying yes to the higher adventure of living that is the soul's mandate as it plays throughout reality and just to note of course that we have jupiter stationing retrograde at eight degrees of aries and so it's a a powerful slow concentrated uh, Jupiter there and so we have Jupiter stationing at eight degrees of Aries and the critical degrees here are eight degrees Aries down to 29 Pisces and so uh, Jupiter will re-enter Pisces in October the end of October so as Jupiter retrograde activates the zero to eight degree range of Aries and the cardinal signs Libra Cancer Capricorn well as it would activate uh, those portions of the chart it would symbolically describe being in let's say an extended period a more concentrated period of psychological growth uh, the push to move beyond your comfort zone it would describe a particular phase of expansion moving into new territory physically or psychologically speaking but the push to move beyond the parameters that you've been in as jupiter uh, triggers the cardinal science there uh, psychological expansion going into territory that you have not previously been in before the confidence to move into to sail into new waters and also the idea of the opportunity for expanding your understanding your wisdom your perspective in relation to the planets being transited that is also an important uh, feature of Jupiter transits there meaning coming into perspective insight more comprehensive understanding of the areas of life being triggered by Jupiter there in transit so something there to watch out for as the zero to eight degree range of the cardinal signs are being activated and eventually the late degrees of the mutable signs as jupiter dips back into pisces at the end of october so a few things to be aware of there as jupiter activates these points all right, so reminding you as usual that I'm available for a range of private astrological counseling, teaching consultations and packages and links to that are in the description box below where you'll also find links to other astrological resources for download and a link to join my email list if you'd like these kinds of new and full moon reflections to be sent to your inbox. So wishing you a fantastic, joyful, cheerful, spontaneous Leo New Moon and until next time, talk soon. Bye.